Hello, folks, and welcome to our weekly devotional for uh, today. It's the middle of the week, and we're about halfway through uh, Psalm 66. And so our verses for today, as I take some time to, to get there, are uh, 10 through 12. Bear with me just a moment. The psalmist writes, For you, O God, have tested us. You have tried us as silver is tried. You brought us into the net. You laid burdens on our backs. You let people ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water. Yet you have brought us out to a spacious place. Those verses really resonated with me during this time of pandemic because I've encountered several uh, Christians who have kind of commented that uh, this, this disease, this virus is God's way of testing us and sort of weeding out those who are faithful from those who are not. And I've never really subscribed to that uh, sort of thinking, but it is a popular one and even found in the Gospels of Jesus Christ. We, if we remember a few weeks ago, we heard a Gospel story about a man born blind. And Jesus' disciples asked him, uh, why is this man born blind? Is it because he sinned or is it because his parents sinned? Uh, his infirmity must be in some way uh, related to uh, some form of punishment from God. And I think that uh, we so often think of God testing us in this way. Um, but the ancient uh, writers of the Psalms did not think of God's testing as a way of punishment. They didn't connect this notion of testing to punishment. For them, God's testing was a way of vindicating them. Of, of lifting them up and demonstrating their faithfulness to God. It was a way of justifying them before God. And so I think that far from being a, a means of punishment, there's a positive connotation, at least for the writers of the ancient Psalms, uh, when they talk, when they speak, when they write about God's uh, testing. The way I think of it is this, because I, I never subscribe to the notion that God causes anything uh, bad to happen to us. But I think that God desires the best from us. The, uh, God desires that we be faithful, that we be good people, that we try to do the best we can to follow uh, God's teachings and the teachings of Jesus uh, to love each other and, and to live in compassion and mercy and forgiveness and all of that good stuff. God wants the best from us because I think that God wants the best for us. That God knows that living in this way, that living a life of faith is, is the way that we will indeed get the most out of life, the most contentment, the most fulfillment, the most joy and peace out of life that God desires that we follow in God's ways because those are the pathways, not of death and destruction, but of life. God tests us not to punish us, but because God wants us to follow in God's footsteps and God desires always the best for us. Let us pray. God, we know that there are, are difficult times in our lives and certainly this moment in our lives is a difficult one for many people. Help us to understand that any of the difficulties we experience in life is never a punishment from you, but that we indeed might use these hardships, these times of, of suffering uh, to become more faithful people, to, to follow more closely the ways of life that you set before us, to understand what is truly important in life, and to steer away from those things 
that offer us only death and destruction, to follow in your ways of life. We know, God, that you want the best from us because you want the best for us. And we give you thanks. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen.